Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, before I start this, I want to give a bit of a heads up, a bit of a warning. Um, this report is about a criminal trial. Um, it's very distressing. Um, it has some awful content. Um, and I just wanted to heads up you on this um, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to upset me as I'm reading it. Um, and I, I suspect it may upset a few more people. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful on what I say because of YouTube doesn't like certain things being mentioned. Uh, so I'll have to use alternative terms and descriptions. You will understand, of course, what's going on. Uh, it is, um, like I say, it's a difficult subject, but I think it's a subject that needs to be highlighted and sold. Um, and then we'll go from there and that's it it's going to be the trial is expected to last five and a half weeks um and i'm gonna i'm gonna follow the trial but uh, i'm gonna follow the trial as best i can uh but if it gets too much i'm just gonna stop following the trial it's i don't like things like this so i've given you a fair heads up we're just gonna go in now and have a look so horror witchcraft and satanic abuse trial gets underway at Glasgow High Court. Now, as I say, there's going to be a lot of description in this that I can't really explain. Um, I will do my best. 11 people today went on trial accused of being involved in a very young person's uh, terrible stuff. It's things, things you do to very young people. Uh, and witchcraft ring. The seven men and four women face an indictment listing a total of 32 charges at the High Court in Glasgow. The accusations involve four children said to have occurred in the city between April the 20, uh, April 12 and October 20. They include claims that children were ard at different times while some of the group clapped and cheered and verbally encouraged as well as videoing um, all these things that were happening. One of the youngsters was said to have been shut One of the youngsters said to have been put into a microwave oven in order to end their lives. It's also alleged that two of the children were made to take part in seances, leading them to believe they could see spirits and demons. Ian Owens, 45, Elaine Lannery, 39, Leslie Williams, 41, Paul Brannan, 41, Marianne Gallagher, 38, Scott Forbes, 50, Barry Watson, 47, Mark Carr, 50, Richard, I'm going to say Gagan, 45, Leona Lane, 51, and John Clark, 47. I think it's important we read out their names. They deny the accusations they face. Can you imagine? Owens and Landry first face a charge which features a claim that they got a boy to courier controlled substances on their behalf. It is then said that Owens, Lannery, Williams, Brannan, Lane, Gallagher and Watson assaulted a girl to the danger of her life. This included putting black plastic bags over her head, affecting her breathing. The next charge states that Owen and Lannery assaulted a boy. This is getting difficult. Owens, Lannery, Williams, Brannan and Clark are then accused of the attempted ending of a life of a second girl. This charge states she was made to act like a dog and eat pet food. It also said the group did chase the child while wearing devil masks. She was also allegedly hung by her clothing from a nail on the wall. The M ending of life charge bid charge later claims the girl was pushed into and trapped inside a microwave, an oven and a fridge freezer, as well as various cupboards. I'm not... Innocent, of course, until proven guilty. But the fact that they're there, the police must have ample information, ample uh, sufficient to bring charges. I'm going to carry on. Owens and Lannery are then accused of holding one of the girls underwater in a bath. Prosecutors state the pair were then threatening and abusive to the children. 
all 11 are next said to have got the boy and one of the girls to take part in seances and use a Ouija board to call on spirits and demons. They also allegedly got the children involved in, quote, witchcraft, leading them to believe that they themselves had metamorphosed into animals. The 11 are then accused of being involved in the ending of a life of a dog while getting two of the youngsters to take part. I love dogs. I love children. I'm... We need to see the faces of these people. Everyone needs to know who they are and what they've done. These people are animals. Owen alone faces the charge of aring one girl, including with Watson, Brandon, Clark and Forbes, Owens and Lannery go on to be accused of other sex abuse charges. Owens is next charged with aring one of the other girls. The Eleven, along with a woman who's now deceased, were then allegedly involved in the R of another of the girls, and it's claimed they got her to take drink and illicit substances. The charge states that while she was being assaulted, Lannery, Williams, Lang, Gallagher and the other woman clapped and cheered and verbally encouraged the alleged crime, which was also video recorded. Forbes alone faces the next charge of an indecent images accusation. Forbes, uh, sorry, Owens faces a further offence before him and Lannery accused of abusing one of the girls. Owens and Watson allegedly got the boy to take part in sexual activity. Owens and Lannery are then accused of hiring the same child. A further charge claims all 11, along with two others now dead, also abused him with the men this time it was said to have cheered while it was going on. Owen and Brandon are then accused of hiring another child. Prosecutors also claim the boy was made to watch footage of a girl being abused. Lannery is said to have molested one girl. The group, along with others deceased, are accused of hiring the same child, which included her being held down and restrained. A boy and a girl were ordered into a bedroom and the door blocked while this was allegedly happening. One child was also said to be made to operate the camera and create video footage of some of this abuse. Owens next faces threats, threats charge while him and Lannery are then accused of attempting to pervert the course of justice. Prosecutors finally list a number of uh, substance charges involving some or all of the group. These date between 2010 and 2020. The 11 come from Greater Glasgow area. Lord Beckett told jurors the trial could last at least five weeks. The case continues. I would hate to be a jury member on this case. I'm going to follow this case. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. Oh, my, my, heart, my heart is beating. I'm so angry. So... At this point, of course, they're innocent. We, we haven't found them guilty. The moment they're found guilty, I believe, I firmly believe, and it is my firm and sure belief that they need to be marched out from the court into the street, stripped. The men have everything cut off them in public. And then all 11 of them hanged in public until they're dead but let's not let them have a drop let's just let them hang for you know however long it takes for them to strangle to death with people looking on i'm stopping now I'm coming up we know there is no um no no hanging in this country anymore so i i desperately hope that when they do get to prison they're not in prison very long. I want, I want every person in the prison to know exactly what they've done. I want guards, prisoners, everyone, everyone. I want the prisoners to go and do what they want to them. I want the guards to take a nice long tea break and accidentally leave the doors open. And when they hear the screams, think, oh, somebody's left a radio on or something. This is going to be a hard case, isn't it? It's going to be an absolute hard case to follow. I'm going to follow it. But it's going to be a hard case. I'm so... I think I'm done for the day now. I don't think I can do any more. Uh, this will be my last video of the day. So, um, till tomorrow, thank you for watching. Do please, absolutely please, I beg you on this one. I beg you on this one. Please like this video. 
that's all you need to do. Just like this video. Um, nothing else. Thank you.